Greetings, my saplings. All right, so in today's video, we are going to be going over shoes to resell in June. However, I understand some of you guys don't like to resell. Some of you guys even hate resellers, and you know what? That is understandable. You could consider this guide not only a reselling guide, but consider it more of a what are going to be the most hyped shoes of June, the most limited shoes of June, and say you hate hyped shoes, you only like GRs, I'm going to be telling you which GRs you should be waiting for the sale price on because, hey guys, we're all trying to save a little bit of money too, right? But for the most part, we are going to be talking about a lot of heat this month. There is so much fire coming out this month. And let's just jump right into it. To be specific in today's video, I will be going over obviously what shoe is releasing, the date of the shoe, if I have that information, the retail for the shoe, and my resale predictions on the shoe, and if I think they're going to sell out or not, and if I think you should be waiting for a sale price or if you should buy it and not sleep on it. First shoe we're gonna be talking about actually starts on May 31st, because we're not actually in June yet. The first shoe that we're actually going to be talking about is the LeBron Zoom Soldier one from the Think 16 collection for $150, and I am predicting that this shoe will sell out based off of how the other LeBron ones have been doing they have been selling out however they haven't really been reselling for a notable amount if anything you might be able to make just a very small amount of profit after seller fees on StockX or GOAT or say you just sell on your own then you'd have to pay shipping so I don't think that these are a shoe that you should be reselling but don't sleep on them if you like them getting into June on June 2nd we have the we love Nike Air Max collection we have the Air Max one for $140 the Air Max 90 for also $140, and the Air Max 95 for $170. For all three of these shoes, I am saying that they are not going to have resale value, and you can actually catch these things on sale. I believe some overseas retailers actually began selling these already, and they're already selling for $110, so... Guys, don't pay retail for these. You can get them for much cheaper if you like them. Moving on to June 8th for $180, a women's exclusive shoe. You could get the Particle Beige Jordan 3. Just like all the Particle Beige shoes that have released in the past, they are most likely going to sell out over a amount of time. Perhaps it might be a day, perhaps it might be a week or so. Don't expect these to sit long enough for you to see a sale price. However, I do think that you can get them for cheaper on StockX if you just wait it out a little. So obviously no resale on these. Now June 9th, this is where it starts to get really crazy guys. June 9th, we have a ton of heat releasing and it's going to be hard to get some of it unfortunately. So to kick it off on June 9th, we have the Off-White UNC Jordan 1s releasing for $190. Now, yes, they already had their surprise drop on Nike sneakers and the day after that, we also had that exclusive drop. So they already released on Nike sneakers, but don't worry guys, there's gonna be a lot of raffles holding these. There's also gonna be a lot of overseas first come first serve releases that you're gonna be able to cop from on the 9th. But don't worry guys, I'll of course make a how to cop guide for these if you happen to be new to the channel. Make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you're 100% updated on these off-white shoes and any other hype shoes that we're going to be talking about later in the video. But I think this comes obvious to most of us guys. These shoes are absolutely not going to sell out. No resale at all. <gasps> what? What the f In all honesty guys, you can expect these to sell out immediately and have very heavy resale value. Now also on June 9th, we got some Yeezys releasing. For $200, you can acquire the Supermoon Yellow Yeezys. I'm predicting that these are obviously going to sell out, and I believe that these are supposed to have around the same stock as the blushes, if not, perhaps a little less. So I'm predicting since demand is going to be about the same, since it's a very similar colorway, I'm predicting that resale should be very, very similar to what the blushes were. So yes, that does mean you could actually make some pretty decent profit off of these. Obviously, for the Yeezy release, we're going to be using the multiple people jig to try and get them. If you don't know what that is, check out this video right here. But of course, I'll make my had a cop guide where I briefly skim over that again. And I'm also going to be live streaming on the 9th for these shoes, for all the other shoes like the Off-Whites releasing on the 9th as well. So just make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for that, guys. Also on June 9th, a shoe that I'm actually really excited to see because we haven't seen this shoe in 15 years, guys. 
For $190, we have the Jordan 2 Mellows. Now, I'm expecting that these aren't going to be a GR because I'm pretty sure Jordan brand knows that there's not a lot of demand for Jordan 2s. Also, they rarely release Jordan 2s. I am predicting that these will eventually sell out, whether it be on the first day of the release or whether it be in a week or so. I think that these will sell out. I do not recommend sleeping on these. However, I don't see these reselling for a ton just because there's not enough demand on Jordan 2s unless they're like crazy limited which I don't see happening at all. Now for the next shoe that we're gonna be talking about, it's very possible that we might see some stores releasing this shoe on June 9th. However, what I've heard is that the updated release date for these is going to be June 23rd, but obviously stay woke on June 9th just in case it happens. Anyway, we have the Travis Scott Jordan 4s, also known as the Cactus Jack Jordan 4s, whatever you want to call them. Retail on these will be $225. This is going to be a tier 0 only release, and they're supposed to be around 12 to 15k pairs, so obviously they're very, very limited, so you can expect that a lot of people are going to be taking L's on this release. So obviously, yes, I'm expecting these to sell out. I'm also expecting heavy resale despite that high retail price. I still think that you can make a ton of profit off of these if you get them, but there is no way if I got my hands on these that I'd sell them. Going straight to feet. Now, another possibility for June 9th, we can possibly get those butter 350 v2s however we know that on june 9th we're also getting the 500 so so i'm expecting that this release date might actually get pushed back to later in june but as of now it does lie on june 9th i'll update you guys on everything though so obviously these will be retailing for 220 dollars and usually v2s they've been upping the stock a lot lately however demand is still super high for v2s so I'm expecting a sellout, and I'm also expecting that you can make decent profit off of these. Consider it the same amount of profit off of those Beluga 2.0s that released, because I'm expecting stock should be pretty similar to those, and obviously demand will also be pretty similar. Now, while we're on the topic of V2s, just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder. If you haven't already, I highly recommend that you sell your cream V2s, also your Zebra V2s and your Yebras, because those are all restocking. The Zebras and Yebras will be restocking a little later. However, in July, those creams are restocking. Just a brief little reminder, friendly reminder, that if you plan on reselling them, if you didn't want to wear them, I suggest selling them, but you know, I got my zebras over here. I'm wearing them. I really don't care if the hype dies on them. I'm just going to wear them because I like the way they look. Anyway, moving on from June 9th because June, June 9th was crazy. Now, on June 14th for $190, we have the Jordan 14 Last Shots. In my opinion, this is a really nice colorway, actually, and it's super easy to match as well. However, obviously, there's lackluster hype on Jordan 14s in general. I'm also not expecting these to be a super limited release. I don't see these being a crazy GR but still I am expecting that these will sit for a little while I'm expecting that you should be able to get these for cheaper off of StockX or GOAT maybe we won't end up seeing that sale price on these but you know this is the year for Jordans where everything's supposed to be slightly more limited so if you really do like this colorway I don't suggest sleeping but otherwise feel free to try and wait to see if they drop on StockX now on June 16th another release that I'm extremely excited for for $220 we have the black and we also have the white Levi's Jordan 4s. Just like the previous release that happened earlier this year, I'm expecting these to sell out and also have very, very heavy resale. In my opinion, I think that stock for these might be a little higher. I'm also expecting demand to be about the same for these and the previous ones that released. But since these are the second release, these aren't the original ones, you could expect resale to be just below what the first Levi's went for. Moving on to June 23rd for $225 which is kind of a lot for these. We have the Jordan 12 PSNY Michigan and you know for these, we don't actually have official images. We've seen the player edition ones. We, we've also seen some sample pictures, so I'm kind of excited to see what these end up looking like. Maybe they'll have the M, maybe they'll have the PSNY branding on them. For $225, I definitely want to see something special, but I am expecting these to sell out because these are supposed to be pretty limited. But I have heard that Finish Line is also getting them. Don't expect these to be as limited as the previous PSNY Jordan 12s that released, but you can still expect that these will have some resale value, just not as much as the other ones. Ooh, almost forgot guys, before June 23rd, actually on June 21st, we have 
two more extremely like crazy releases we have the black and then we also have the white off-white prestos so obviously for these you can expect a sellout and also heavy heavy resale you should definitely expect to double triple maybe even quadruple your money on these but these are going straight to feet if i could obtain these but it's gonna be very very difficult obviously subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated for these as well moving back to june 23rd we also have for 150 dollars the travis scott air force ones now this is just a possibility for june 23rd Apparently, according to most sources, it's just in June, no specific date. However, just in my opinion, I could see these releasing on June 23rd. For these, though, just like the previous Travis Scott Air Force ones that released, I'm expecting a sellout. I'm also expecting these to sell for way more than doubled. Moving on to June 28th, we have a women's shoe only, and I kind of just wanted to mention this because I thought this was kind of unique. I don't really know if these are going to sell out. I wouldn't really expect resale value. I don't know what stock's looking like either, but I just wanted to mention these because I thought they were unique. We have an orange pair and we also have a white pair of the Air Max one. They're called Just Do It's and I could see these being like the poor man's off-white Nike. I don't know, in my opinion, I think they look pretty cool. Finally, on June 30th for $190, we have the Jordan 3 USA. Obviously, July 4th is right around the corner after June 30th, so you could expect very high demand for the shoe i don't see these being too too limited but i also don't see them making this a crazy gr so i'm definitely expecting a sellout for resale value i'm not expecting anything crazy as of now as of now let's just stay conservative and say they're not going to resell for enough to make profit after fees and the last shoe i wanted to mention which is actually not yet confirmed there's no date whatsoever but they were supposed to release in june we have the black utility yeezy 500 for these obviously i'm expecting a sellout and i'm also expecting that you should be able to make decent profit off of reselling these similar to the blushes and the super moon yellows that we just talked about previously so that'll conclude it obviously there's going to be lots of w's handed out this month but like those jordan fours and like the off whites that are releasing but obviously if you want to stay updated on every single release if you want all the store lists all the raffles for these some tips and jigs on how to cop the shoes obviously subscribe turn on post notifications and if you happen to enjoy the video if you perhaps learn a couple of things or so feel free to leave a like on the video but with that have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys later you see your shoe like a size 12 weapon get your foot off my foot ah get your foot off my foot yeah now i can't run and i can't walk you hit me so hard i don't want to talk get your foot off my foot ah get your foot off my foot yeah why are you always in my way knocking me over every single day